FS, and we're the Stuff Podcast, Yeah. and we're here at Cleveland Comic Con, I'm super excited, this is our first video, we just got started, it's festive, it looks like it's about three different buildings, three different buildings, and if you did not know, I am from Cleveland, and so I'm so excited to have come another comic convention here in my hometown, you didn't know that? Wait, but well, we stayed at my mom's house last night. Oh, okay, cool. So, we're going to bring as much coverage as we possibly can. Um, if you can keep track of our YouTube page, you know we're going to do diversity today. Seven healthy characters of color. Um, we're going to talk about it in our panel. And we're going to be asking people at the show. So, we're going to put it to work. Are you ready, Lou? I am ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's take off. This is Luke of the Sub here at Cleveland Comic Con, and I'm here with Tetsu. A comma, the, the comic is a comma, the undiscovered animal, and the movie is Hero Tomorrow. And it's Cleveland's resident superhero. Very cool. So, uh, can you tell us a bit more about a comma? Absolutely. It's about a Hungarian ice cream truck driver who discovers the spirit force of the most savage creature mankind has never known. And I think what's very different about our book is our character drives an ice cream truck. You know, he's not brilliant like Peter Parker. It does take place on the streets of Cleveland, which in our book is a blank canvas. There are no other superheroes when this story begins. Then we also have, uh, you know, this sort of vibe where, you know, he's not rich, he's not uh, wealthy, he's not a home trained warrior. And I think that's what a lot of people have been kind of liking about the book. And actually, we just got picked up by Diamond, so it will be in Previews World this coming issue in November. And we got a staff pick, which only happens to six books in the entire catalog. Very cool. So, one of the uh, topics that we're covering this week is we're asking various people here at Cleveland Comic Con to say seven characters of diversity. So, I want to see which one can take the challenge. Well, I'll give it a shot. Okay. Okay. Um, Luke Cage, that is start with him. Uh, Black Panther, go with Black Lightning, Storm. Um, Daughters of the Dragon, the one, uh, I forgot her name, There's, it's, it's the pair. Anyway, one of the Daughters of the Dragon, I forgot her name. Uh, Misa? 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 Misa is our name? You didn't say Blade. I didn't say Blade. So you got five of I think I, 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 oh, I didn't, I didn't get credit for Daughters. I gotta get the name. It has to be comics? Any comic genre ever. Movies, all of them. Yeah. Oh, can I say Batwoman? Eartha Kid? Yeah. <laughs> or Halle Berry? <laughs> all right. And now for my seventh, I would like to, did I go? Did no, I no, you're at seven right now. Oh, how about Captain Marvel? The, you know, the other Captain Marvel. All right. Yes, and I want to mention, we are bringing in a really kick-ass uh, African-American female into Hama, the tap dance killer. And I have an image that I can share with you guys of that. Yeah, we'll have that up right now. But we're rolling. Yeah! What's up? It's FS, and we're here at Cleveland Comic Con, and I am at a very awesome storefront. It's Kid Force Collectibles! If you recently watched the Star Wars trailer, you know how awesome this is because I'm buzzed. And I'm here with Joe. Correct. I, I like Joe. All right, this is Joe. You're the owner of the store. I own Kid Force Collectibles at 103 Front Street in Maria. I didn't even have to ask him where he was at because that's where you should go for your Kid Force Collectibles. And we're going to do some like view on what it's so all these All right, so, Joe, we're from the Stuff Podcast. Okay. We talk about all the stuff we love to talk about. Sure. I want to gauge and see a little bit about your history with the comics. Okay. How long have you been reading comics? Gosh, probably since I was a young teenager. Young teenager. I'm in my 40s now. Okay, alright, so this has been a long time. Uh, do you read from the three big publishing houses such as DC and Marvel? Of course. Um, you know, I keep up on Walking Dead. Alright. Number of. What would you say? Yeah. Uh, probably, I would probably say the image just because some of the stuff is not so big. Uh, a lot of stuff that you see, two big guys, and, uh, 
Comic-Con 2015. So, I got... Night Mage. Grey Cloud. Not really. <laughs> hey. All right, so we got three awesome cosplayers here. So, Night Mage, this is your booth, your setup here? Yes. All right. Dude, just saw some of your pictures over here, and I think I've seen you at a few cons already. How long have you been cosplaying? Uh, it's actually three years now. Three years? Yeah, three years. Dude, you look like a serious vet, no, like 10 I, years I just, in. I just don't have, like, a life. That's all. <laughs> Yeah, three years. How many cosplay costumes do you have? Um, I'm at like 58, 59 now. 59? Yeah. I'm, I should be like 62 by the end of the year. Awesome. Can you give us a little peek or tell us what you have that you're working on right now oh, to come out? I, I don't keep secrets. Um, oh, okay. Colossus, Apocalypse, oh. Thanos, um, Planet Hulk. Um, of course, another spawn. Is, okay. That's what I'm known for. You're a um, you get, you get thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's it for now. So are you excited to spawn Al Simmons is back in the, yes, in the, in the books? Yes, I am. I'm very excited about that. I, I, I Honestly, I stopped reading after issue 50. I think everyone did. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. All right. All right. So what, I don't want to assume, but I'm going to ask anyway, what's your favorite cosplay? Uh, it depends on what I'm doing. 
if I'm, really? Yeah, if I'm like at a charity event because I do a lot of charity work. Uh huh. Usually it's like Super Grover or Batman. Everyone loves Batman. But mm-hmm. If I'm at a convention, beastly Batman. We're gonna get some B-roll footage of that. <laughs> that Batman looks like a problem. <laughs> it's all airbrushing. Don't worry. No. <laughs> uh, but if I, yeah, if I'm at a convention, then Spawn, Predator, um, Ooh, okay. other just different stuff you don't see every day. All right, all right, all right. So we got awesome conventions or awesome cosplayers coming up because you would look like a badass Thanos. Um, I'm excited about your Planet Hulk one. That's what I, the yeah, one I want to see. That's going to be fun. That's all right. Fun. So we've been going around and we're doing a whole diversity panel today at the Stuff Podcast. Yep. And uh, I kind of started, a, a, they probably don't acknowledge me because I'm just the little guy with the Stuff Podcast, but I started a fight with MTV. I, do, I didn't like how they did a diversity video at New York Comic Con. They went to New York Comic Con and randomly asked people to name seven characters of color. And not one person in their video at New York Comic Con could name seven people of color. Now, I'm not saying that that's not true, that people can't do it. I know some people can't do it. But you're telling me at New York Comic Con, not one person that you videotape can name seven characters? Well, all right. I didn't see the video. That's fine. Um, I did. How many, <laughs> how, many, how many people did they ask? There was about, what, seven or eight people in the video? Okay. I can guarantee you they asked more than seven or eight people. <laughs> I can guarantee you more than, you know, someone did answer it. Of course they just they, wanted to write an article. Yeah, they, yeah of course they just they aired wanted. the ones that couldn't. Right. And so and that 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 bothered, that ruffled my feathers. I didn't think that was cool because I appreciate what they're trying to do. The discussion needs to be had. Right. There needs to be more diversity in pop culture. But the point that I'm trying to stress is, is that within the last three to five years, that building bridge for diversity has been happening. Yeah, it's moving in the right direction. It's not where it needs to be, but it's definitely moving in the right direction. It definitely is. Even actually with bringing characters, our existing characters. I mean, like like Captain America with Falcon, you know, Captain America, and uh-huh. bringing Miles Morales as Spider. Mm-hmm. Even bringing existing characters and you know, introducing new characters to them, I think that even still works. Right. You don't have to actually develop all brand new characters just to fit that. Right. Part. All right, well, that's what I was going to ask you. Can you name seven characters of color? I'll count those first two off, off your seven that you just said. Because you said oh. Miles and you said uh, Captain America. All right. So uh, if you can name five more, that'll be seven for us. I'll go uh, Jax, Blade, Al Jax, Simmons, Blade. of course. All right. Uh, Batwing. Batwing. One. No one said Batwing. I said Batwing. You oh, know mine. what? Actually, Batwing is a character I kind of want to do. <laughs> I don't know. Do you, you guys think you should do Batwing? I think you should do Batwing. All right, then I got to do it. I got to do it. I got to do it. Let's go for 63 for this year. All right. You need uh, <laughs> one more character. Oh, just it? Just yep. one more? Luke one Cage. More. Luke Cage. And that's what I'm saying. Luke Cage has a new TV show coming out with Netflix yes. through Marvel. And I that mean, that's going to be gonna big. Be, that's going to be incredible. Right. Incredible. So, like I said, diversity isn't where it needs to be, but it's definitely getting better. Yes, it is. In pop media. And there's plenty of work that needs to be done. Yes. Well, I'd like to say thank you. Very well. Taking the time to uh, hang out with us here. Uh, I'm going to see if there's some more cosplayers. They probably won't be as fun as you guys. You were pretty eh, awesome. Eh, Fist bump. Eh. Bow, Fist bow, bow. Fist bow. Fist All right. Uh, I'm going to get my little superhero on. <laughs> and uh, it's FS with the Stuff Podcast. And I'm out.